So I am in New York. Uh, it is our sixth week since lockdown. And uh, uh, happy to say that, you know, I'm safe. I'm in, this, in my apartment with my son and uh, we have enough food. I have my studio in the apartment, very fortunate for that and uh, enough su art supplies. Um, it's two weeks since I recovered from a really bad cold come pneumonia, which of course wasn't tested or identified. And so having gone through that, I'm just feeling so happy to be okay, to be, to be, to have my health back. And um, of course, spending the time hearing the news, catching up with what's happening, catching up, checking in on friends, journaling, my hopes, my fears, you know, this sort of moment when we collectively don't know what to do. Um, yes, of course, keeping hope alive is important. And I think for me, the way I see it is the way to keep hope alive is to actually feel this moment now. I mean, to not, to not evade this step. Because uh, this is a moment when I mean, it, it is so heavy that it gets one down, but then to run away from it would be to not, uh, to not know about it, to not be able to go to the next step. Um, and we all feel in our own way. Uh, for me, uh, painting is a way to, to, be, to connect with myself, to feel what my feelings are. And it's not even that I want to say anything through my work or it's just like to reach into a harmonious place within myself to be able to um, get in touch, to get to get to my sanity, to get to my structure, and um, and so that's what I'm doing. I spend many hours in the studio and um, feeling grateful to have uh, all these brave stories that we are hearing of people doing wonderful and the world coming together. Of course, the the opposite is also true, and it's very difficult to see how the most financially vulnerable people are getting hit hardest, and uh, how you know minorities, people of color, are getting uh, targeted, are, get, are getting scapegoated. So it's a moment where. We have come to this point, not because of one thing, it's so many wrong decisions, so many decisions, um, you know, that, you know, the environment, the seas, our water and everything. There's no quick reset button. We, but we have this moment to pause and to feel it. And I think to do that is to be sincere to this moment.